Well, it was back to school for more than 60,000 students across the country today attending government schools. A number of students in the private sector have been back in classes since last week. Well, today the Minister of Education, the Honorable Jeffrey Lloyd, is expecting much from both students and administrators this new academic year, given the investments made. However, there were some institutions, he says, that did not open its doors today. Excellence is what I expect. Excellence is what we demand, meaning the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. $300 million is being spent in education. When we take a look at the results that we are getting, it's not something to be proud of. We are going to continue to upgrade and expand, um, to review and to, to change where necessary the curricula of our society so that we can be more responsive to the requirements of our students today and that which they will need 17, 18, 25 years from now. We don't have every school ready. Stephen Dillett, for instance, won't be ready until next week. Uh, Claridge Primary on the preschool level, as well as Cleveland Enos on the preschool level, as well as the East Street um, Early Childhood Center on the preschool levels are not going to be ready because the repairs have not yet been completed. So, But otherwise, we are ready to go. Minister Loy says officials are also zeroing in on Hurricane Irma. It seems as if, based on the models, we had a briefing just on Sunday night late uh, with the NEMA officials along with the Met Office, and it seems as if Irma is going to head our way. Well, it's heading our way, and uh, we are going to be somehow impacted by Irma, which means the day school opens, it's quite possible that school is going to be across the country, uh, certainly in the southern islands, closed by, say, Wednesday, because that's two days out from when it is expected, if the models hold, to reach landfall in the southern Bahamas, meaning Auckland's Crooked Island and so forth. So Irma is a deep concern to us and we are ready.